the CD-ROM from a Lenovo ThinkPad, and it's the um, oh, what is this? This is the L520. Now, this is one of the most easiest jobs in the world, to be honest with you. Posi drive screwdriver, locate it. You can't miss it. It is. In, it actually says CD-ROM under the screw. I don't think it has to come all the way out either, but anyway, we will take it all the way out. And then just get the CD-ROM and slide. That's one done. Now I'm going to have a go at the keyboard on this. This is a, a damaged unit which was brought back to us. Um, so it is now no good. I've just done uh, a demo on the screen. So, yep, get back to you in a sec. So we replace the keyboard. What I'm going to do um, is undo all the base screws here, which I think are then holding the casing around the keyboard. So I'll remove the battery and you'll find there's three screws underneath here as well. So sometimes people get a bit confused with this if you want to take a photograph before you take it all apart. But I actually don't know quite a few of these, but not these particular ones, but laptops in general. One side underneath the CD-ROM as well. People do forget that and then try and prise it off and end up breaking the casing. So always make sure you remove the CD-ROM and look for any screws which then could be screwed into the top casing. There's three in this case. And if you're not too sure, just keep checking. Just keep checking. Okay, I'm pretty good. We're pretty clear. There's two in the side here. <coughs> All the outer casing ones have got to come out. Okay, he's out, but he's not coming out. You can always tip him upside down if you want to, and then. That's it. Okay, I'll just stop for a second and check. Okay, done. All the casing screws are undone. And then I'm just going to gently. I didn't do anything much, I just prise this and it came off. Quite straightforward. Underneath here, as you'll see, are two little. They just prise out. And follow this one through. We can remove this one. This is the keyboard one and touchpad. So with this one, I don't know if you can see that, you have to be careful with these. There's a little tab each end. So if you just pull that tab forward, and then you will release the ribbon quite easily okay so you don't need to use force and then you've got another one here and i think that one just lifts up so what that one does it's on a hinge so you lift that up and that will free that ribbon and same with this one as well which is the which one's that that's the touchpad one so same again i use a screwdriver just gently and that lifts up that pops out a spare as well and then for the keyboard there's a screw and another one this side and that should lift up right here and there's something there might be another screw so that's what I'm saying don't force it so it looks like there's another screw directly underneath here so we'll have another look it over. I don't see anything. I wouldn't have thought so underneath all this, but you never know. Not there. Another look, and there's no rush, and there's no sort of I've got to get it done, I've got it so just nice and steady. Right, I can't see any more screws in there. 
there's definitely something holding the keyboard down in that position there. Okay. Okay, there was nothing holding that back except glue. So it looks like some other glue glue has seeped out of the heat sink. But anyway, so there we go, one keyboard removed. Also, it's not a bad idea if you wanted to, you could remove the battery, because they're always coming handy. And that should be just glued down. There we go. So pop your mouth. They come in handy as well. Um, the Wi-Fi, you could use that. This is another one, this is the power unit if you want to keep that, but I think as far as we're going to go, that's all we need. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope this has helped you. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. Uh, any comments down below. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.